bond energy of the N2 molecule is higher than that of the O2 molecule, explain why. Well, if you're just looking for the answer, it's because N2 is held together by a triple bond, which has six electrons of glue to hold the two nuclei together. And oxygen, or O2, is generally thought of as a double bond, which only has four electrons of glue. Nitrogen is a non-metal that has five valence electrons. The only Lewis structure that lets you connect two atoms with just 10 electrons, that's five and five combined, has two, four, six, eight, ten electrons distributed this way. This has three bonds between the two ends. One is called a sigma bond. The other two are called pi bonds. Now, for oxygen, each oxygen brings six valence electrons. That means it has 12 valence electrons total, and the way you get those to bond together is with a double bond. Here, the oxygen has a sigma bond between the two and a single pi bond. Now, the strongest bond between any two atoms is the sigma bond, but the pi bonds also add some strength, or rather, add in bond energy. What's happening here is that you have two and two and two, or six electrons of what I call glue that hold the nuclei of these two atoms together. Remember, the nuclei have protons and neutrons in the center, but the protons are the ones that have a positive charge. How are you going to get this nuclei and this nuclei to be attracted to each other? The answer is, if you have electrons spending time in the space between or around those nuclei. Same with the oxygens, you'll have two nuclei, and those nuclei, by the way, have an extra positive charge compared to the nuclei of nitrogen, but then you're only going to have four electrons worth of stickiness to kind of pull those positively charged nuclei, which repel each other, pull them together and keep them attached inside of a bond. The explanation that I would give is that the two nitrogens are held together with one sigma and two pi bonds. That's six electrons worth of bonding between them. Oxygen only contains one sigma and one pi bond. That's only four electrons worth of, and again, I keep saying glue because that's like what would hold them together, but it's all electrostatic attraction, right? Cool. The real long and short of it is that triple bonds are always more stable and therefore have a higher bond energy than doubles, which have a higher bond energy than singles. But this is a comparison between triple and double, so here you go. Nice. Thanks for being with me, and best of luck.